politics. As we've reported, the book claims Giancana was involved in the deaths of Marilyn Monroe and President John Kennedy. In today's Inside Story, Double Cross relates that Giancana's influence on the Kennedys goes back to Joseph Kennedy, the family patriarch. Joe Kennedy was a bootlegger in the 1920s with gangster connections, according to the book Double Cross, and his relationship with the mob continued into the 50s. But then Kennedy tried to sever his mob ties because of his son John's rising political career. When Joe Kennedy refused to deal with New York mob boss Frank Costello, a contract was put out on his life. So he turned to powerful Chicago mob head Sam Mooney Giancana, says Giancana's nephew. Since Mooney was the recognized power in the country outside of New York, he was the only one of stature who could get this contract removed, Mooney said that he would get the contract removed. And Joe Kennedy promised that Mooney would obviously have the ear of the next president of the United States. The book claims Giancana met with John Kennedy in 1959 and extracted a promise from him that government pressure on organized crime would ease up, pressure that was spearheaded by Robert Kennedy and a Senate committee investigating the mob. In return for that promise, Giancana said he used labor unions, ballot box stuffing, and mob muscle to help get JFK elected in 1960. But once he won, the president and his then attorney general brother Bobby reneged on the deal. To Mooney, this was the ultimate double cross. Kennedy was also making enemies elsewhere. As a result of the Bay of Pigs fiasco, uh, Jack Kennedy had alienated uh, uh, members of the CIA, had threatened to, to uh, splinter the organization in a thousand pieces. And so what you had happening in the early 60s was several groups of people who uh, all had a reason uh, to want uh, Jack Kennedy out of the way. Giancana claims the CIA came to him for help in the assassination of Kennedy, as they had previously, in trying to assassinate Fidel Castro in Cuba. This story makes sense, says mob expert and writer David Scheim. I found that a lot of what he said is credible. I found particularly talking about the mafia and the CIA work very closely is something that has come out of other Chicago people. Professor Robert Blakey, another expert on the mob and on the assassination, says he's not sure Giancana was involved, but knows that many organized crime figures wanted Kennedy killed. They hated Robert Kennedy. They hated Jack Kennedy. They expressed uh, disdain for them. They even discussed in a general sort of way, he ought to be whacked out. Mafia into account and uh, always considered it sort of a junior member of the CIA. From a fifth floor window at 12.30 p.m., the rifle shots that bring death to President Kennedy. Giancana told his brother Chuck that he brought in two men from Chicago to be actual gunmen in the killing. Lee Harvey Oswald, however, was a CIA man. And Jack Ruby, who later killed Oswald, had been Giancana's man in Dallas for years, running a mob-owned nightclub since the late 40s. When Jack Ruby entered uh, the police building that morning and shot um, Lee Harvey Oswald, that that put Chicago right in the middle of the conspiracy and the assassination because Jack Ruby reports to Chicago. The most startling accusation in the book is that both Vice President Lyndon Johnson and future President Richard Nixon knew about the assassination in advance. Specifically, he mentioned that he had seen them, met with them, and that they were aware of it. And certainly, Johnson had something to gain by uh, Jack Kennedy's removal. And it was no secret that Richard Nixon and affiliations with uh, mob organizations for, for many years. The book does not elaborate on Nixon's involvement, and the former president had no comment on the book. The flowers Mrs. Kennedy carried from the airport are twisted and torn. Chuck Giancana says in the book that he wishes his brother had never told him about the assassination. Quote, Chuck realized he hated Mooney for telling the truth. Chuck felt he would now live forever in the shadow of fear. He even wondered how Mooney could have shared it, knowing it might jeopardize his life. End quote. An exclusive Entertainment Tonight Us Magazine poll shows that 16% of those asked believe that both Lyndon Johnson and Richard Nixon knew about the Giancana CIA conspiracy as claimed in Double Cross. And just over 45% of those polled said that Johnson and Nixon could have known. In answer to another poll question, over 53% believe there was some sort of conspiracy involved in the assassination of President Kennedy.